What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for another episode of Deadbolt where I flail and I try so hard and fail miserably at playing this game. I'm so bad at it, man. Then again, it just came out this morning. Oh, we got a mirror now. Look at my beautiful face in the mirror now. No, nope, it's not where I just want a shearling coat. That's all that I really care about. We got a cassette tape in the previous episode. We have finally assassinated the leader of the kings. We got in a fight with some vampires. A firefight, that is. You would assume vampires would be much more in the realm of... I don't know. Actually, vampires would use guns. Okay, I saw Underworld. And it seemed like it was all right. Click. Any day now, he says. The Dredged had a... Er, any day now, he says. The Dredged have a plan. Oh. What is the plan? Sorry, I can't tell you. Keep feeding your boys to the Reaper, though, and just sit on the ash. I hope this is worth it. We're moving huge amounts of ash around, and we're losing members left and right to the Reaper. Dark and Stormy said that the ash could be used for more than getting high, but man, was it hard to convince the boys. I just want to get everybody to a place where we don't need the high anymore, somewhere where we feel more... alive. We're all feeling like shit here. The boys don't know it, but on the day we lost Steven, I took a bump, too. We all did. But I'm trying to be stronger. It's not working yet, but I'm trying. They need a leader. I can hear shifting in my bed. Something woke her up. My phone is ringing. Puff? Man, Puff is always calling me for dumb shit. He gets spooked by everything. Amber speaks up, her voice piercing the silence. Babe, can you turn that off? I reply with a whisper. Yeah, sorry, Am. I'll just put this... It's just Puff again. He's always calling me. I lock the phone and toss it across the dark room and look back at her pale form. At least there's some benefits from working with the vampires still. They give me the creeps. Can't wait till this is all over. Any day now. I bet they're trying to cheat the Reaper. They're all trying to come back to life. I bet you that's what it is. Pale moonlight touch, no heat. Vampires flock. Find out why. Dancing vampires won't notice your presence unless you shoot them. Tall undead said to be formed by betrayal from a lover. They are more dangerous than zombies. I'll have to make sure that every shot counts. Look upon your reflection, said the fireplace, and remember that you are different. You are not undead. Reflection! I didn't do anything, man. You lied to me, Fireplace, and I thought you always told the truth. Looks like we're on to the Thousand Year Royals. Vampires are running a club. Find out why. Hopefully it goes back to be a little bit easier at the start. Those last couple episodes... The Grim Reaper? Are you joking? He's, uh, coming. There's booty dancing zombie, or there's booty dancing vampires everywhere. I already got death and taxes. Where does this take me? They said they wouldn't notice me. Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, there's one up on the roof. They always get me with the one up on the roof. They always get me with the one up on the roof. Man, forget- oh, I wanted to go in guns blaze. I'm gonna do- I'm going in guns blaze and forget this noise. What got me right there is this is an auto door right here. You don't have to press E. You automatically go through it when you're right next to it. Which makes it a little terrifying. Yeah, death and taxes. Death and taxes making a little bit more of what is guaranteed. Oh, girl, you want to try that one right there. It was a bad plan. Cassette tape unlocked. Oh, the 10 millimeter goes through shit. I didn't realize that. Like, I knew it did, like, piercing or something, but... Right, I gotta get far... Oh, shit. Alright, back through the door. We'll sneak through here. Let me grab another 10 milli... Oh, she saw me. She saw me. She saw me. Bad things are happening. I've been stabbed in my skull. I've been stabbed in my skull. It's okay. It's over now. It's over now. couple more. I think he drops a 10 milli. He doesn't? Okay. Well, they're up there on the roof. This comes down to, like, what I think I can pull off. Ooh! Got her right in the face. Okay, so I'll... Eh! Gotta be more adaptable here. Gotta be more adaptable. They're taking cover. It looks like I can go up to the roof on this side. Where does this ventilation shaft go? Okay, so that kind of works. I can cut the power? I don't know if I want to cut the power. There's a lot of, like... There are a lot of vampires down there. He's down. One less vampire. You know, I always thought that it was, like, wooden stakes and shit that would kill off the enemy. I don't know where you're going to get wood meat from, I would assume, from a tree. But at the same time... Is the goal to kill everybody in here? Like, what's the goal? 
What's my motivation? What is that? Collect key cards. Okay. I gotta get these dudes in the head. Alright, so we got key cards. I've only got one bullet left, so shit's gonna count, or it's gotta count if I pop it off at somebody. We can't go out that way. It looks like I can, however, drop right in the middle of the club, so let's try that real fast. And if I wait for her to piss off, I can get more ammunition, come back up and murder that guy, and then we'll be good. Perfect. So did that just reload me slightly and there's still some bullets left over, or what happened over there? I gotta collect key cards, man, and I ain't got nothing right now. Did they have key cards? I wouldn't give zombies a key card. Like, I'm not racist or anything, but giving zombies key cards seems like a bad plan. I think we killed everybody. I don't know what cutting the power is going to accomplish, but I doubt it's going to be good for me. Christ. So I gotta find information now. Where's the information at? Probably, oh, it's inside this little boxy thing over here? Alright. You open a safe. There isn't much inside. There are two envelopes. The envelope is full of money, probably club earnings, and the second envelope contains a date two weeks from now and an address. The address of this very club. It seems important. Alright, so let's be the hell up and out of here because whatever's gonna happen with that room, I really do not want to trigger it. I figured what would happen is if I used the 10 millimeter on that guy, it would pierce, and it would. That was basically what the game was trying to trick you into doing: is using the 10 millimeter and accidentally shooting everybody in the club because it's got that piercing damage, and that's why they put the 9 millimeter right there so you could take out that one guy. Man, well, at least we got that one done. 15 souls gained. It looks like they've given us a little bit of a raise in our allowance. We can go to the docks right now and check it out. I don't know if there's going to be anything pertinent, but I don't remember what the next gun cost to begin with. Could definitely use some bigger battered guns though. I, I like that they teased you though in the first couple missions. In the first couple missions they teased you with some of the stuff like, you know, the Tommy gun, things of that nature. High damage and loud, extremely powerful headshots, high capacity, holds 10 bullets, suppressed 9mm, 9mm SMG, tactical SMG, a silent weapon with a laser. Yeah, buddy. Load up those souls. Let's do this thing. I want to play around with this gun. I would like it if they added a shooting range or something onto your house so that you could play around with the guns that you have. That would be kind of cool. Huh. Apparently I can punch when I have no weapon. Who knew? Let's go on to the next stage of the Thousand Year Royals. Turn out this light. It makes the fire more ambionic. That's like ambiance and bionic combined. It's pretty awesome. More, more, so many more, so many corpses who forgot to die. Shotgun weapons are strongest near doors and entryways where enemies can't react until it's too late. Yeah, I think we'd already figured that one out. I kind of want to use this SMG, though, in the next mission. If it gets me killed a couple times, I won't be upset about it. I probably should have read what I was doing here before I did that shit. Kill the remaining targets, so everybody that's flagged with a red arrow. They can't see us because they're busy booty dancing. Those two are only up on the roof. If they drop to the ground, we're hosed. My suggestion would be going something like that right there. The second he comes through. Oh, he came in behind me! He came in behind me through the crowd. Sneaky bastard. Sneaky ass bastard. Got her. I'm going to step back a little bit because I think they're going to try and unload on me. I just don't know if I have the... Oh, shit. Now would be the time for the SMG. Give me the SMG. Give me the SMG. Why is it... Oh, shit, balls. Why is it not working? Oh, dude. Okay, so they limited my weapons on this mission. I might be hosed. <laughs> Got that one in the neck, though. Got that one in the neck, though. You can't take me, vampires. Don't even try. 
Oh, I was gonna try and punch that vampire in the dick to death, but it didn't work. I had a plan, okay? And I believed in it. Yeah, grab that sawed off. It looks like we didn't wake anybody else up. That drops in right there, but that seems weirdly risky. Bye! Oh, they got me through the toilet? I was in the toilet, though. Oh, man, she was in the toilet, though, too, so I guess I can't bitch too much. All right, got that. Where does this go? Goes up and around over here. I'm gonna wait for him to come through, I think. Ah, oh, she went through me. They need to make my character collision so that the enemies can't go through me. Because it actually disrupts your shot. Like, when the enemy passes through you as though you're immaterial, and I get it, we're in undead land. But still, as far as the mechanic goes, blocking them from going through each other would go a long way towards making your life a little bit easier. I can walk right through them so long as they're dancing and nothing bad should happen. That would take me to there, though, and I don't... I don't know that I want to be there. That doesn't take me to the toilet. I need to take her out on the toilet, and so we'll do that. Alright, so consider her took. From there, where else can I go, though? If I had a silenced weapon, I could bap her in the back of the head, and then blow his ass off or whatever. No, I need you to open the door. All right, he's down. So now we take that, we blow her up. She's nice and dismembered. That's exactly the way that I wanted it to be. And so now that she's out of the way, we still have quite a few targets left to tap, though. And I left my pistol laying on the ground like an idiot. Oh, man. All right, go get the pistol. Death and taxes will make this a lot easier. Because then what I can do is if I can one-shot him and one-shot him, we can jump back in the toilet, take off to another location while they all gather over here, maybe? I guess it depends on how prolific of a shooter I'm feeling right now. These guys will reinforce pretty quickly, though, which makes me nervous about it. These two buildings appear to be separate, except for that door. That was an accident. It's hard to aim. Like, my keyboard can only accept so many inputs at a time. And so when I'm holding down, like, four keys and then I'm also clicking, I don't know if that's what's causing the problem. But basically, I was holding down shoot. I was holding down, I'm sorry, I was holding down aim, ready to shoot. And I pressed E, but sometimes the door doesn't open. I don't know. It's, I don't think it's the game's problem. I think it's probably my keyboard or it's probably just me doing things out of order in a stupid way. Well, that way is no longer an option. I think I'm okay with that though because that cleared him out of this hallway so that I can just go through oh no that's a wall right there oh all right well a couple more targets down I guess we just got to live with what we got right now it looks like we got some kind of shoddy right there or something two more down he's looking the wrong way right now so unfortunately Getting to that shotgun might be a little difficult. You definitely don't want to trigger this room. I think we're going to have to restart. I think we're going to have to restart it. Oh. Maybe not. Because now we got a combat shoddy. Oh, 
Oh, the combat shot, you got to cock it though. So you guys probably couldn't hear that or feel that, but essentially all of the other guns in the game, I can just click as fast as I want to fire. With the combat shotgun, he's got to cock it in between each shots. It goes bam, click, click, bam, click, click. And so there was a delay right there. I was playing it. I thought it was going to be like a like a semi-auto shoddy, basically, where it automatically loads every time I pull the trigger, like some military-grade shit. There we go. So they're down. We're probably going to have a new friend in just a second. So we'll go ahead and we'll flat his... Oh, he came around behind me again. I don't know why he gets me with that trick every single time. Every time he gets me with that shit. Trying to aim low on this guy just in case because I want it to go into the ground. So I don't mean to be like a low down dirty dick shooter. But that's what we're doing today. I don't think that triggered them. So we should still be largely okay here. Yeah, I think we're still solid. We should be alright. They're just getting their boogie on and dancing and shit. So I'm going to go blow them off the toilet real fast. And this time, I'm going to try really hard not to mess up the next room. Alright, so he's down. The knife is silent, by the way, so long as it's thrown. And then on this side, we definitely have targets to deal with. Definitely. Ooh, my accuracy is going to have to be on. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I've got what looks like nine bullets left. Oh, and these guys might come up to investigate too. What the hell is she doing? Either way, regardless of what she's doing. Hope that's not a security camera, by the way. Blow her head off real fast. Which appears to be surprising to the vampires. They're like, holy shit, he blew her head off. Still not liking my options, though. Where does this go? Oh, I ran out of bullets. I was trying to get her with the headshot and I missed. Ass. Oh, now I can get in my trunk. It wasn't letting me do it before. Maybe it's once you start the mission you can't get in your trunk. Maybe that's what it is. I bet that's what it is. So basically you gotta pick what you start with. Oh man, that didn't work too good either. I don't think this does very much damage. That's the, f that's the feeling that I'm getting from this gun is that it does not do a lot of damage. Bit of a trade-off there in regards. Alright, so next we had these guys over here. Got him. Blow her off the toilet a little bit. I don't know if we should clear one building at a time. I really don't know what my wisest idea is here. Like, I'm sure I could make some of this work, especially in this room where they can't quite fire as fast as I can. Maybe get one or two of them, but if I use the shotgun, I think it draws all the ones from the next building over into the bathroom, and I can't... Yeah, I can't really be having that. So this time around, I think I'm going to bring, instead of the tactical SMG, I just don't think the tactical SMG is that good. And I don't know if that's because in beta or something, they had a lot of testing for this game. I don't know if the SMGs allow people to clear the game too easily, but it's better, I think, to go with guns that have powerful headshots and just can get work done. Now upstairs, they've already gone to cover. That's okay, because he's going to come in through there. I'm going to light him up real fast with the D-barrel. 
a D barrel for a D bag. All taken care of. We will have none of that twilight nonsense here. Do you sparkle, sir? Tell me, do you sparkle? Look into my gun barrel while you while you answer the question. Do you sparkle? When I was a kid, see, when when I was younger, vampire movies, the vampires were like badasses. Ooh, that lady. Something about coming up out of the poop shoot and annihilating somebody is just really entertaining. It's fantastic. We'll stab him in the head with a knife, blow that lady up real fast, and... Hmm... I don't know. Let's travel around to this side, and we'll see what we can accomplish here. They're dancing, so I only really need to kill that guy with one shot. Once he goes down, she's going to come back through. we got to be very careful that we don't hit the other vampires here, though. Luckily, my headshots appear to be getting at least a little bit better. I don't know if they're, like, that much better or scooch forward a bit more. There we go. Perfect execution, and nobody seems to care. I'm pretty sure if I was within eye shot and somebody walked up and shot somebody in a nightclub right in front of me, I'd be like... Wah! But it would all be kind of like in that weird slow-mo thing that happens when you're in a strobe light where it looks like everybody's running at like 15 frames a second. So like the reaction would be more like If you get what I mean, this would be easier if I had a face cam. I'm gonna sledge the shit out of that guy. Now then. That leaves us... Man, we still got death and taxes, so that's good. Couple of you down. Oh no. Combat shotgun should buy us a little more time provided they don't come in from behind. We should be alright. I should be able to pick them off one by one as they come through the top floor. This combat shotgun, I tell you what, this thing is the all-star, man. This thing is by far the all-star. It's by far the all-star. So you keep it with the gar and store it in your yard or something like that. Isn't that a gun? Isn't a gar a gun? I think it is. We'll swap back over to the other side. I don't think it's ever, like, a bad idea to maybe just swap sides every now and again when you swap the aggro. Especially when you've got a bisected building like this where it's just cut in half. If you draw them all off to the left, well, why not go clean out the guys that stay behind to the right? And I think that's going to work out pretty well for us. Up the stairs, maybe? Yeah, we can get him. I believe in myself. Sometimes you just have to have a little bit of belief to get you through. And if you have that, then, well... I always thought that'd be a good name for, like, a weed strain belief in something. I don't know. I'd do it. I'd totally rock it. Mm. Wilford Brimley's Wake Up. There's lots of stuff out there. <laughs> like, the names are so ridiculous, too. They're always, like, stuff like Bionic Leg. Although, I'd be careful about mixing Bionic in on anything. We got three shotgun shells left. Last kill? Yeah! Wait, kill all undead. What? I've got to kill all the ones in the... Oh, no. i got to kill the ones in the nightclub? Oh, dude. I don't know how we're going to make this happen. I'll reload the shotgun. I'll grab this little piece over here, too. And hopefully that'll be enough bullets to get rid of all of them. I noticed the automatic guns tend to kind of suck at headshots, though. And headshots are actually the best way to play this game. You have to be nailing headshots, otherwise you're really going to struggle. I should be able to just mow them down, I hope. I have no concept for how this is going to turn out. Like, what side I should start from or anything. I mean, I'm counting them out right now, and there's a lot of them. Hmm. I just got to make sure all the bullets hit the ones that I shoot. There we go. Perfect. So that's one cleared out. Be careful with my extra rounds when I go to the opposite side. Got my eye on the prize now. I got my eye on the prize, and the prize is looking a beautiful. Oh no, I didn't want to throw it. Oh, I screwed up. I was gonna beat him all to death with hammers, and then oh shit. Now I gotta see what I can kill with the remaining SMG. Shit balls. I am the worst at this game. All these guns are tapped out. Like old kegs. Uh, death and taxes got me one kill. No, I ran out of bullets. <laughs> oh, she almost got me. We gotta find our sledgehammer, I think. Our sledgehammer is the only way that we're coming out of this unscathed. Where did I leave it? Left it over here. There it is. Grab that shit. 
So now, if I hadn't wasted the hammer, this would be a lot easier, but I guess I wasted the hammer. Just goes to show you that if you hammer a zombie or a or vampire, doesn't matter, it could be either undead, if you hammer them enough, they will eventually fall down and not get back up. I don't remember reading that one in Bram Stoker, but I guess it's true. Okay, so she's rotating. I'll probably go down to the bottom floor and murder all the ones down there first, maybe? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. She is going full rotation here. Okay, so she's coming for me. That looks like it got her stranded up in the bathroom, possibly. Unfortunately, I don't have a bathroom execute right there. We'll go back down to the bottom and I'll finish these two off and then we'll decide how we want to resolve this. There. Oh, I got them both with one swing. Hell yeah. So her. Good ol' her. I don't think I can do anything execution wise so I'm gonna have to get her like quickly basically we couldn't go through the doors because she's not rotating slowly enough that right there should work got her okay so oh my god I've never been so happy to hear an engine start I have never been so happy to hear an engine cycle I'm so happy right now so happy right now All right, way too much intensity for me. That one damn near killed me. That was, that was a lot. Let's meditate by our fire again. Oh my God, this game is so difficult. The vampires reform a lounge not too far, discover their aim and bring them a storm. This lounge contains a safe. Maybe I can understand why these clubs have been suddenly appearing. Some vampires have their souls outside their bodies stored in phylacteries. They must be destroyed in order to kill the vampire. Isn't that liches? Magical charms. The vampires prefer bottles. They will glow noticeably blue. Alright then. Let's take a look. We got like a minute or two left in the episode where we can kind of... Oh, he's got like a Nosferatu thing going on. Another club, another safe. Maybe this one will have useful information. I guess I'm just knocking over every nightclub in the area. I don't usually do this, but... Uh-huh. That's what they all say. Deep down, though. Deep down, though, what is it about having dinner on the roof? I believe I chose poorly. Oh, he got me. I was trying to race for that shotgun. Couldn't quite get to it. Oh, they come back to life after... Oh, you see that right there? He came back after a little bit. Oh, it's after you fire a shot you can't change weapons. Okay. Where'd that shotgun go from last time? Nope, sucks to be her. Oh, that guy's coming this way, maybe. God, we gotta find these phylacteries, man. Mm, there's one right there. Oh, and there's one on the shelf right there, too. Well, that killed one of them. I don't know which it killed, but it killed one of them. I think if I could destroy that right there, we'll be good. It just comes down to be a question of, like, what weapon do you use? Ah, uh, when they die officially, they drop the shotgun. Okay. I must have hit it on accident last time. Perfect. Alright, so he's down. There's a safe right there. Technically, I could just, like, skeef the mission as hard as I could. Okay, so he's officially down now. This all kind of depends on my accuracy, though. How good a shot you figure I am. Probably not that good of a shot, right? Alright, we'll do this the fun way, then. There we go. Just pump around into him. Alright, this little bastard over here... 
Should be mortal now. Which means that if I come in careful, sneaky, sneaky, down he goes. Good, and we got lots of ammunition to play around with. So what is this, a key card? Oh, I gotta pick the door. All right. Door picked. Ooh, got them both. Hell yeah. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better resolution. And this one's locked as well. All right. I'm going to try... Oh, there's three in there. Okay. That functions a little differently than expected then. If I can run back and kite. Let me grab some ammo real fast. There we go. This shotgun is golden, man. This shotgun is super golden. He'll probably come investigate over here. And down he'll go. Is that all of our key cards? No, we still got another couple left. It's probably held by one of the guys on the toilets. I don't know how I should do this. Probably just like that. That seemed to work pretty well. All right, so the information looks like it's in this thing right here. You open the safe, and again, there isn't much inside. There are three envelopes. The envelope is full of money. The envelope contains a date from a month and now and the address of the Bloody Mary. The envelope contains an address near the docks. This may be important. Cool, let's bounce the hell on out of here. I need to get myself a combat shotgun. This is what I need. I need a combat shotgun. This thing is what's up. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Deadbolt. Just wanted to say thank you for y'all stopping by. I understand I'm probably not the best at this game. It rats me out, though, whenever I'm making my edits. I don't like this about... With Party Hard, I could kind of, like, edit things around until I got it in. With this one, you'd be like, wait, this episode was 25 minutes long, but it said 38 minutes at the end of the mission. I'm like, yeah, I died a lot. Let it go. Well, we got a kitty now. Hooray, kitty! Let's play Kitty Puncher. Ollie loves that game. It's one of Ollie's favorite games. I put my fist out. And he hasn't figured out how to attack my fist. Like, he knows how to attack my hand. Like, he wraps around it, but every time he tries to wrap around my fist, he bonks himself in the face. It's been, like, a year of the exact same thing. I put my fist out, he gets mad, and he tries to attack it and bonks himself right in the head. I don't even have to I just sit there with my fist forward. And he'll just run into it for me. It's the weirdest thing. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Hi, everybody.